systems engineering again. Um, now, we've made the balsa brick here. If you haven't done that one yet, do that. But our next part, we're going to make some components for the car. And um, so first of all, let's start nice and easy. So here's your brick car. I'm going to um, click with two fingers, um, go new component. Now we haven't made it yet, but I'm just going to um, call it grommets. We're making these little thing called grommets, which I'll show you in a moment. So grommets and, or oh, uh, let's call it grommet. We'll make a few of these as we go. Maybe, anyway, let's go okay. We can always change the name of that later. So there we have our grommet. Now, what is a grommet? It is one of these little guys that we plug into the sides of our car and it makes the axles run really nice and smooth, reduces friction, which makes your car go faster. Now, I did forget to mention um, with this video, we're also going to try and move to making some wheels as well. But I thought I'd start us off nice and easy with this grommets. Make sure you have a good look at those dimensions we're dealing with. And what I'd recommend you maybe do, um, I mean, you guys, your skills are getting much, much better with Fusion 360. So maybe pause the video in a moment and have a go at creating this. I'm going to have a crack myself, but um, have a go at doing it without my help and see how you go. All right, so pause now. All right, hopefully you had a go at it um, and it come up all right, but if not, I'll just show you how I do it, but there's several different ways we can do this. All right, so let's see. So the first one we might start, I've got this outer circle here. Um, so I'm just gonna build these solid and the very last thing I'm gonna do is extrude out this middle bit here. So this middle bit's hollow. Okay, so we've got 12 mil and that needs to go up one so if that's 10 mil and that's 8.5 it means this little bit must be 1.5 because 8.5 plus 1.5 make 10. so 10 mil this means diameter and uh 1.5 high let's give it a go all right so i'm gonna sketch now i want it on it's gonna be in a funny little spot we're gonna put it on this plane we can move it into place a bit later. Uh, now I'm just gonna lock it. I haven't done this before. Normally I like to stick to this, but I'm gonna pop it in here. Now I think I said 12 mil in diameter. Okay. Um, and then, uh, let's see. So we finish sketch. And from memory, I said we make it 1.5. So we just go extrude that, yep, 1.5, done that bit. All right, I'll zap back here. Now we've got to do this next one. So the diameter of that is 6.25 and it's 8.5 long. So we've got to um, use that as a sketch face. And I've got to try and remember that, 6.25 and 8.5 high, 6.25. So sketching on that guy there. So I clicked on the circle and hopefully it locks into place. Yep, um, 6.25, enter. I'm gonna zoom in a bit because we're dealing with some pretty small work there. Just while we're at it, one little handy thing, a concentric um, that always makes sure that this little circle stays in the exact middle of that bigger circle. Um, just a teaching note. I'll see if I can, I'll deliberately, uh, might not let me move it. Hold on. All right, let me have another go at this. I'm just going to draw one and it's going to be dodgy. It's deliberately right off track. 6.25. Because sometimes you can draw these and they look like they're in the middle, but they might not be. So this is why these constraints are really important. So constraint, now usually the first thing you click on is the thing that moves, okay? So if I, maybe if I clicked on this first and then that, this would move in around that little circle. But I want this little circle to move inside the big circle. So I'm going to click that and that. Yes, there we go. And that's where it'll stay because it's bound by that rule, that constraint. 
All right, um, 8.5 extrusion, I believe. I hope so. I'll click on that one. I extrude it. And I just want to make sure I'm getting it on the right angle here. Um, yeah, okay, 8.5. Done, there we go. It's looking pretty close to the real thing. Um, and all we've got net left is a 3.3 diameter um, extrusion that where well, we need to cut it through. And that's where this little metal um, axle goes through. So 3.3 diameter. We don't have to worry about any other men, uh, dimensions. All right, sketching again on this face this time. Get that one out. Uh, again, it, it kind of wants to snap there. Let's do that cool little trick again. 3.3, .3, enter, and let's use that constraint where we click on that and we click there and voila, um, we've finished that. The very last thing we've got to do is extrude this as a cut. So I go extrude, um, it wants to know the profile, so let's click on that. It's that little center one. And you can see it wants to extrude out, but we're saying, no, we want you to cut. So I've clicked on this one and we want it to cut. And now, so I could push this back, but a better method of doing this, so right now it's set for distance and I can push it back with that arrow or I can type in uh, millimeters. But the better practice in this case is to go to the end of the object. So I click that and now I've actually got to select the object. So I use my view cube, bring it around and I'm telling it, I want you to keep going till you hit this face here. Three, two, one, click. Bang, there we go. And I click OK and there we go. So there's a grommet and hopefully your grommet looks just like that one. Now, we'll need four of these little guys, um, but let's, that's okay for now. Let's just, I'm just going to click this fella and I'm just going to get him right out of the way for now. See you later, Gromit. Okay, that's done. Um, we'll need to make here four of them. So that's Gromit. Um, I'm going to, well, let's have a look at the wheel. If you can do that now, basically you apply so these are more complicated wheels but you can make a much easier one you can simply make um, like a cylinder so you've got your diameter uh, here in this case it's uh, 33 mils okay 33 mil diameter and there's both wheels now this one is 17 mil wide okay 17 uh, 33 mil diameter 17 wide this one is 30 so same diameter again but 15.69 mil wide so this one's a little bit narrower so the front wheel i dare say whereas this guy um 17 mil actually 17 mil from the out a bit there 14 mil there well let's just go off that those nice round numbers so this one is the rear wheel this one here is the front wheel okay so you can just simply make a cylinder and you want this little 3.1 mil hole. I'm not even gonna show you that. I reckon you can work it out, or if you get stuck, a friend can help you, but I'm not gonna show you that. What I'm gonna do now is attempt to do this more intricate shape to make it look more like this. Um, and hopefully I can get that right. Now, this is the way I go about this, we, um, it, you probably need to watch it all happen before you start to draw it because when I start to draw it, it's not going to make much sense at all. But we're going to use this tool, Revolve. And if we look at, so if we look at this diagram here, oh, it's not letting me put my mouse down. But if you look at that little blue face there, that's all that person sketches. And that looks nothing like that overall gray um, mechanical piece that you see as the end product. But, so I'm gonna try and draw a little blue face of that. And you can see it's it's kind of like the quarter of that circular object. So I'm gonna try and do that with the wheel and then I'm gonna um, revolve it and hopefully it'll look half decent. So here we go. All right, 
so um, first up sketching I'm gonna sketch on this plane again oh, okay I wish I moved that further but anyway um, so I'm going to start by drawing let's see I'm, I'm going to draw that as a one so I'm going to start with this inside bit here in fact I might just draw um, some construction lines I've got 15.69 um, and let's see if the radius is 33 what's that that's uh, 16 16.5 mil um, there let's see how we go here so I'll click on that construction lines I'm going to say 16.5, enter, okay. So we've got that going up there. All right, uh, now the width. Good night, Brucey. Um, so the width of this one is 18.69. So let's see how we go. Um, construction. 18.69 okay so we've got that done all right and i just might finish that off as a as a box and that'll give me uh I've been, oh, there we go that's what i was looking for there we go so i've got my rectangle there um all right so we could almost pretend that that construction line is going through the dead set middle here. So that's what I need. So I'm just going to round this off to, uh, well, we might go uh, one, what's that? Uh, 1.55, I think. So let's move in. I'm just going to draw a line across here. Um, and I'm just going to put it anywhere at the moment. Is it, uh, let's turn the construction line off. And I'm just going to put it all the way across because we're going to draw a lot of lines overlapping and I'm going to use this clever little tool to cut out all the lines we need. And that's a new tool as well. All right, so what did I say? I think I said uh, 1.55. All right, so hopefully this works. I'm going to hit... D for dimension, I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to, okay, and then 1.55, enter, there we go, awesome, all right, so that's a good start, so that little bit um, is this top part here, okay, so we've got that little bit going on. Now, this part here, it kind of, um, it, it really looks like a part of a circle, doesn't it? So I'm going to draw a pretty big circle here. It doesn't matter if it's an entire circle like that. And we're just going to cut those extra bits away. So uh, now, which circle is the best one for the job? Not quite sure. Center diameter circle. So, okay, so that... That could work all right. Actually, we might. If that goes to the outer edge, we probably need a slightly different one. Let's try the one where we pick this. Creates a circle tangent to two sketch. Uh, we don't have two sketch lines. Um, let's give this a go and see how, how, we, how we fare. So that's the, the middle bit. Okay, this is looking all right. Um, needs to be fairly large. Let's just skip back. Yeah, not too bad. All right, let's see. And, and I can always change this diameter later. Um, all right, so I'm just going to click that there. All right, so I've got that one. Uh, now I just need to draw a line that connects to this and up there. And basically around we go. So in the name of not taking forever... I'm just, you can finesse this a little bit, um, but I'm just going to try and join to this, go around it, and let's let's see what we get. 
Um, all right, so, oh, now I need, oh yes, construction lines off. So here we go, it's gonna let me, and, and this again, it's not gonna make much sense, right? Um, until you've actually, I've done the wrong line. I needed a spline, okay. So I'm gonna come out here. This line, this might, hmm. anyway. Now, I'm just gonna click tick. This is, that. I'm not happy with that, but I'm just gonna keep going. You can do better jobs, you can always undo, but I just to try and make this video a reasonable length, I'm just gonna keep rolling with what I've got. So I've got that line across there, and now basically I need to go around and follow it. And there might be a better, better tools than what I'm using here, you might find them as you go. Good night, Jason. Good night. Um, all right, so let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna click on that. Uh, escape, no, nah, didn't like that. Let's try that again. I might go on that one I used before. Circle, let's try this one. So I'm going to click on this edge. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's probably not going to make a whole lot of sense right now, but anyway. Um, now, if you, like me, are starting to have some troubles with your snap grid, you may want to turn this off. Okay, when, when you get down to really fine work and it, it's sort of trying to snap to the wrong places, sometimes you're better just turning the snap grid off. All right, so I'm gonna go along here now, just to there. Um, now basically to there, there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go to this one now. To there. Back to this guy. And back down there. Okay, and... Um, is that done with that? Okay. And I'm not sure if I did this, but I need that to connect to there. There we go. So believe it or not, that's the foundation for my wheel. So what I'm gonna do is use this snipping tool here because there's a heap of stuff I wanna get rid of here. So you can see as I hover over, it kind of works out where these lines intersect and it's suggesting, well, I can cut all of that purple line off. So I'll click that, that's gone. Uh, I don't need that bit there. I don't need this guy here. I don't need that there. Don't need that there, that there, that there. Uh, so I think that's that's looking all right. Although I'm noticing one mistake here. I actually, um, I need to, I'm just gonna do a really quick patch up here. I'm just gonna go to there. It's not really what I want, but There we go. Um, so I'll use that scissors again, just to neaten that up. All right, so that's finished. Let's see how this goes. So I click on finish. I'm gonna get it on an angle because you're thinking, you're probably thinking, how does that make a wheel? It starts to make a little bit more sense once we start to slowly revolve it. So first of all, if we have a look at this, I've got to pick the profile. So that's that's this face. And now I've got to select the axis, which, yeah, it's gonna, now, if I can back that up a bit, uh, does it allow, yeah, here we go. So let's have a look at what happened. So here's our face that I drew. And now if we're looking at it revolve around, 
I'm just, you don't have to do this. I'm just trying to let, help you understand how this actually works. Oh. And that kind of, anyway. I think you guys saw before how it worked, hopefully. Uh, it keeps on disappearing each time. All right, I'm just gonna pretend. I'm just gonna do that straight away again. I hit, no, not that. Let's try that again. I'm using that profile and I'm going around that. This axis that I've drawn down here. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, so. Um, let's have a look at what we've managed to do here. So let's look around the other side. Yep, okay. So, can you go on? There we go, so we can see, and if you get out your model wheel, you can see it, it looks somewhat like that. I haven't nailed it, but it's not too bad. Okay, so um, that's going all right. The last thing that you might wanna do well, actually, let's just leave it at that. There's, we don't need to print these off because um, because we've already purchased the wheels. But one thing you can do is actually drop in a construction plane, start to draw some like spokes um, on this, and then use your uh, where are we pattern tool around a circle. So you've actually got these various um, spokes or lines coming off your wheel, and they could be extrusions or they could be cuts just to make it look a little bit better. But um, that's not too bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And remember, when you come to do these, you need to do two front wheels and two back wheels. So if you wanted, you could, and, and this is an advanced option. Just cylinders would be fine, but if you really want to test out your skills, this is um, this will get you a few more marks, but it's definitely a lot harder than just a cylinder with a hole in it. So just remember when you do this, you need to create your back wheels, which are, 18.69 uh, wide and our front wheels somewhere, here we go, 15.69 um, wide that way. So there we go, that's the wheels. And don't forget each time you make a wheel. So I've made that. Now I made a, gr uh, a grommet to start with. Um, so there's my grommet, but hello, I've made a wheel here. So I better actually go back to brick car new component uh, now it's made out of existing bodies because I've kind of messed up here I, I drew it before I actually um, made a new component here so I'm saying it's existing for, now I need to click it it's this guy and when I click it in a moment you'll see a new I think it'll say component 1.1 or something like that or 1. Point, might be 1.3 now so I click 3, 2, 1 uh, okay, I think it's just added it to there. Right, I don't really... Anyway, let's call it wheel. Uh, now, I can't remember if this... I think this was rear wheel. You guys would probably know if I got that right or wrong at the moment. Rear wheel. Now, if we look at that, that's saying that the wheel is like the major parent is the grommet and the wheel is part of that major grommet assembly. That's not really right. So, if I just drag this up here... Don't, yeah, if I just put that up here, this might work a bit better. There we go. Now it's not stuck under the grommet part, eh? or it's not a small of component of the grommet. It's its own feature. Okay, so I can, yeah, that's much better. All right, people, thanks again. I hope it goes well. Um, yeah, adios.